Hello, this is Nitin Mahur and here we are going to see another application of PLL as FM and AM demodulator which demodulated demodulates the signal and gives you the modulating signal as a separate signal. PLL as a FM demodulator has got following characteristics. It's a very popular FM demodulator or a detector in recent years. It can be obtained from variety of PLL ICs. It has many applications in radio equipments with frequency range from broadcast receiver to high performance communication equipments. PLL FM demodulators doesn't require high frequencies but expected to operate at intermediate frequency of the receiver which is generally 10.7 megahertz that is 10.7 into 10 to power 6 hertz. As you can see in the diagram, this is the block diagram of PLL as FM demodulator. Phase comparator means this phase detector receives the inputs from IF stage that is intermediate frequency stage of the receiver and this is that signal that is F in which is actually called as the frequency modulated signal right means the signal whose modulation is already done with the carrier and the output of VCO means this one that is controlled at carrier frequency. This VCO that is voltage control oscillator is controlled at a carrier frequency and therefore whatever the output frequency you are getting here that is equal to the carrier frequency of the modulated signal. Now modulated signal is a combination of carrier signal and modulating signal and this is maintained at the carrier frequency. Frequency modulated signal Fi this one and VCO output frequency that is F0 are received and compared at phase detector and proportional output voltage is obtained at the output of the phase detector. Now here you will get the sum and difference component that is Fin minus F0 and Fin plus F0. Fin minus F0 is the low frequency component while Fin plus F0 is the high frequency component. Since this is the low pass filter, only low frequency component is allowed to pass through and therefore Fin minus F0 will appear here. Low pass filter allows only low frequency component that is Fi minus F0 at its output which then appears at the output of amplifier as a modulating signal because Fin is what is the combination of modulating signal and carrier signal and F0 is a carrier signal. So when the subtracting of this frequencies is done and the, the part is amplified you will get the modulating signal as an output. Advantages of FM demodulator are it requires no tuned circuits and it is simple circuit that can be implemented in ICs. Moving on to AM demodulator when we are using PLL as a AM demodulator what it does actually now this is the PLL instead of three blocks we have shown a complete PLL phase lock loop circuit here and amplitude modulated signal is applied here and it is parallelly applied to the phase shift block also. What happens when the amplitude modulator signal or any signal comes across the PLL at the output whatever the signal you are getting that is phase shifted by 90 degrees and since here the phase shift of 90 degree is being observed here also we are applying the phase shift of 90 degrees so that the signal you are getting at the output of this and signal you are getting here they should be in phase with each other. PLL is locked to the carrier frequency of the incoming amplitude modulated signal. Now this is the amplitude modulated signal and this PLL is locked to the carrier frequency of this amplitude modulated signal and therefore you will get the unmodulated carrier output here. Once this PLL is locked, the PLL VCO output means this frequency equals to the frequency of the unmodulated carrier. Hence, multiplier or phase detector circuit will receive two inputs, means this circuit will receive two inputs. One is AM signal with 90 degree phase shift, means this AM signal with 90 degree phase shift and second is unmodulated carrier from PLL's output. Since VCO output is always 90 degree out of phase with incoming AM signal, 
under lock condition phase shift of 90 degree needs to be introduced and therefore we have applied here a phase shift block of 90 degrees so that both the inputs to the phase detector means this input and this input they should be in phase with each other output of phase detector gives sum and difference signals here out of which the difference signal only appears at the low pass filters output which is called as the demodulated output so for the advantages of pll as a demodulator are concerned they are having high degree of selectivity high noise immunity and high degree of linearity i hope the idea of fm demodulator and amd modulator as an application of pll is clear to you thank you